Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today's video is about car boot cell finds. Obviously uh, I'm doing a series of videos showing my finds week by week as I go out buying. So I'm going to give you um, a little close up and a little speak um, about each item. Um, hope you enjoy. Okay, the first piece I'm going to start on here is a bit of Militaria. It's not the best piece of Militaria in the world, however, I love them. Um, what we have here is a shell casing. Um, as you can see, where are we at? There you go, it's dated there, 1944. And it's off a 105mm M14 Type 1. So, obviously uh, fired during the Second World War. And off a large gun. These make really good stick stands and things like that, so they sell. They don't pull fortunes, but they do sell. That came in this morning for a fiver. Next we have a very large antique pink glass vase with hand-painted floral design. Um, to be honest, I didn't really rate it that highly this morning um, when I bought it. It only came in for a few pounds. Um, however, when I searched uh, antique glass pink vases on the internet, they were pulling anywhere up to £140 for a vase of this size. So, sur surprising. But again, that's what happens. You uh, you pick pieces up that you, you think are okay. And when you get home and do your research, they can be even better. Next year we have a brand new, old new stock if you like. That is, it's old but it's never been used. Timex 80 watch, calculator watch. It's never been out of the packaging. It came in for four pounds, and it's probably going to retail out at about thirty pound somewhere on there. So, a nice, interesting uh, watch. I've got a book on um, Timex and Swatch and all the rest of them. I'll do a video on that another day. Next, then we have a big lump of uh, crystal. Um, it would would have been a trophy or a dedication bowl. It is blank. It hasn't been engraved as yet, so it could still be given to somebody. Um, I haven't been able to find the uh, maker yet. Um, it only came in today, but this is a large lump of crystal. Um, came in for three pound this morning. If it's got Waterford or Edinburgh or any of them names attached to it, then it'll be up forty pound. If it hasn't, it's still going to be £25 as a nice trophy bowl. We come across then to a bit of 18th century glass. What you have here is shallow cut Irish glass of the Georgian period. Um, I'm going to do a video for you on Irish glass and uh, Georgian glass. I've done one on drinking glasses already. Um, but it'd be um, good to do a video on bottles and decanters and just standard Irish glass. Um, more often than not, Irish glass will have some chips. Here you have a salt. It's uh, called a salt. They would have put your salt in it on a table. It has a lemon squeezer foot. Now I have spoke to you on my uh, glass video about a lemon squeezer foot. If you can see it, just in there. That's the impression, indentation there, and again, shallow cut. These nearly always have chips on them, so still buy them even if they have some chips. It's very hard to find the early Irish glass without chips, it was so fragile. Uh, but they came in this morning, literally a couple of pound. Now, if you can find one of these salts in good condition, you can be up £40. As that one is, it's probably 15 or £20 for the salt, and same for the decanter. Next piece we have is, well, it's a cast iron pot, uh, but it's been beautifully hand painted and I would think it would come under the bargeway um, category. That is basically decorated items 
that people used to have on barges. It's done both sides, it has a pink interior. It's a really nice large large cast iron pot to be totally honest with you. Very, very decorative. What you normally see is milk churns and things painted with the floral design, but this is certainly over a hundred year old. Beautifully painted front and back. And just a really nice decorative piece. You could put a nice potted plant or some flowers, anything in there, or even just display it as a piece of art. So I really like that, rate that. That came in um, for £15. Really do rate that. That's probably £85, £95. Then we come down to the, uh, the normal jewellery pieces. Obviously a very standard silver chain and pendant there. Uh, a couple more, you have a moonstone pendant on a silver chain, a little entwined heart with cubic zirconia on a chain. The bangle was quite nice. I don't think. Can... There we go. Set with a turquoise. As you can see, it's a thick bangle. It's uh, over 20 grams, about 23 grams in weight. So that's nice. Had a little uh, Siamese. A Siam uh, Nyella work brooch. Again, silver. We have a beautiful silver with a heart shaped opal with cubic zirconia either side, um, set in obviously solid silver, and that's a ring. It's not the biggest ring in the world. The opal is stunning. Real nice fiery colours. So all the jewellery came in this morning. I paid £20. And I have a buckle here. It's an antique buckle and it's solid silver. It's fully hallmarked. Uh, it's hallmarked there. And again, over here in the corner. Now buckles are very very collectible, they haven't got to just be silver, you get, you can buy Roman buckles, you can get good Victorian bronze buckles, some really nice buckles, this one's solid silver, it's probably a 40 to 60 pound buckle. Um, but certainly an area you want to be looking out for, you'll find some good Roman ones if people do metal detecting and that, and you go to a car boot sale and you'll see detecting stalls. And you might find a real nice bronze one. So as you can see guys, um, an interesting mixed lot again. Um, I always come back with uh, silver or gold. That is one of the main things I go out looking for. Um, glass vase here was more than a shock. Um, I thought I'd be buying a 20 or 30 pound lamp. Um, so that was nice to see as it shows how important it is to do your research. Um, I love this. Um, it may end up being kept. I may put um, I may, I'll put it somewhere in the house and maybe have a plant coming out of it or something. So I really do rate this. It's lovely. The painting is really nicely done. And of course the Irish glass. It's nice to pick up 18th century glass. You don't find it very often. So yeah. And of course military. I love anything military. It has wonderful history. Um, I've got a really nice video on um, some personal World War II letters um, where the gentleman died at service and it was letters between his friends and his mother and the officers and so forth. That's, that's nice to read. Um, so I hope you've uh, found this, uh, this week's uh, haul interesting. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe. You'll find us on Facebook, Antique Serena. We're on eBay where we sell a lot of our stock, uh, Antique Serena Clearance. And we have our own website for some of the deer and end and for information gathering. And that's antiqueserena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys.